All right, uh, so now let's see how we can uh, load uh, Sinai structure data, uh, so like JSON data, uh, into Python. So again, uh, JSON data stands, stands for the JavaScript object notation. And it is an, uh, current now the, one of the most common uh, data format that people share data over the internet. So for example, in the past, people probably um, uh, share the data in a CSV format. And right now, people, more and more people are share that in the JSON format. OK, uh, because JSON format is text format, and it can be easily sent and from a server, and also use a data format that can be used by any programming language. So this is a piece of the JSON data. And if you remember that from our Python previous class, uh, you will understand, OK, so that is actually dictionary. OK, and if you remember that uh, in the Python class, I said that when you load JSON data into Python, you treat that JSON data as a dictionary. So the format is key value, key value pairs. Uh, the value can be a number, a string, also another nested a document on another nested uh, key value pairs and also can be list um, etc so everything is in this curly bracket okay um, so here I just want to give you some examples of the JSON data that from the real world so uh, if you click those URLs you can see that even sensors now are providing data in the JSON format so they provide data in the uh, data.html, so that is a structured format, and also they also provide data in a JSON uh, format. Okay, so this is a website. You can see they provide APIs, so that is application uh, programming interface, so that means you can use their APIs in different programming language, uh, including Python, to access the census data. So if you check the data in the HTML format, so normally the, those are the all the ways that we're uh, providing data or sharing the data. So that is in the um, columns and also rows. So that is kind of the structured format. And uh, if you look at the data in .json, so that you can see all the data now in this JSON format. So now this JSON is very popular data format. It is semi-structured. And uh, we will start to dealing a lot of data in the JSON format. OK, so how can we load data into JSON format? Uh, well, the, you can load data directly from the internet, or you can just use uh, the open function to open the data from your local, um, if that data is in your local computer. However, there are several Python libraries that can help us to uh, understand the JSON format. So the first is called pprint. The pprint can print the JSON format or the dictionaries in a way that with indentations so that we can see the structure of the JSON data easier. The second one is the JSON library, so that can load data into the, the format that uh, Python is able to uh, analyze. So we can use open function to load the JSON file. And we can use the json.load functions, which is from the JSON library to convert the loaded file into a dic dictionary structure. And after that, you can just simply treat all the JSON data into a dictionary, as dictionary. And we can use a pprint to print the, uh, the data in a nice format to understand the data easier. Again, I do wish you, I do wish you can remember this. Um, uh, so once your data is loaded, uh, JSON data is loaded into Python, just treat it as a dictionary. So treat it as dictionaries. All right, so let's see some examples. So remember that we just, um, we have, sorry, we have this JSON data. So that's a very simple JSON data. And we uploaded this JSON data into our instance. So that is demo.json. And they're in the same folder. So now let's see, we're going to load the JSON data. So first, let's import the JSON Python library and also from the pprint. 
let's also import the pprint. So pprint is a function that inside of this pprint module. So let's import um, those two Python libraries. So by default, um, they are already installed on, on this notebook instance. And let's also still use with. Remember that we always use with as combined with open function to open any files on that into Python. So with open. And here we type the uh, file name, which is demo.json. Remember again, uh, do, do not forget the extension, comma. And the mode, still we're using the reading mode, read only mode as JSON file. And next, let's say JSON dictionary equals. Now we are going to use this JSON module. So JSON dot load command a function to load this json file into a dic dictionary so json underscore file okay so now let's print the json dictionary first okay so now you can see you just loaded the json dictionary so uh, now let's try to use a pprint okay so pprint so here, hopefully, you can see the uh, the advantage of using pprint. So by using pprint, we are able to see the um, format easier. So now, if you want to get the URL, remember treat that as a dictionary. So we can call the ID, call the ID key. Okay, so we will have the uh, value of the ID. All right, so that is how we can load the JSON data. So once JSON data is loaded, treat it as dictionary. OK, next, let's see how we can read data from the website. So this may sound fancy, and actually it's it's not that complicated. So because in Python, we have a lot of libraries that can make those requests easier. So basically, so instead of you see using browser to open the web pages so we can use some Python libraries to make those requests for us. So one Python library that is com commonly used is called URL library. It has a request uh, function that can make a very simple HTTP request to a website and it will return the HTML content. Okay, uh, so we will dive deep into this part in the data mining class. Um, so so request.url open, so that's actually the function that can open a network object um, by following the URL that provided. And this object has a read method, which is similar to the text object, so that can load the written contents uh, into Python. Okay, so this may sound very fancy, and just let's just look at some examples. Okay, so let's say we import URL, URL IB Python library, and because we are only interested in the request module, so let's just import URL IB dot request. And you can see by default, this Python library has been installed. Now let's define the URL. So let's say we, we are going to request from our GME website, so HTTP colon slash slash. OK, so let's say we want get the main page from our GME website. So let's say our response <coughs> equals dot. We are using the URL open. OK. So we are going to use this request.url open function to open this URL. And the content will be the response dot read. OK, so this is a similar to the um, to load open the file and also file object dot read. And now let's print the web content. OK. And now we can see uh, this is a, retained the HTML code. 
and that is in a binary format. So if we want to view that one in the plain text, we can decode that in the UTF format, UTF-8. OK, so this you can see is the source code of the GME website. So you may wonder, OK, this does not look like the code that we are looking at on GMU. So uh, if we go to GMU, OK, so that is a web, the main page. And if you right click and then view the source code, OK, so that is a real source code. That is HTML code. And you can see that is exactly what we have here. OK, so that is how we can load HTML code from website. So again, we will come back to this part in more details uh, in the data mining class. OK, so that's all for this lecture. I know today's lecture we covered a lot. Again, you don't need to remember everything. So uh, just try to understand all the code that in this lecture. So we will cover this part later uh, this semester and also later in the data mining class. So here I just want to spend a few minutes that to explain something about our um, uh, lab. So the lab that we're going to do today. So first, we're going to download the sensors data by using the sensors API into Python. So before this lab, you need to go to this website and request your API key. It is like a secret so that you can tell sensors that you want to get data. And you can check this website that for more details about how we can get data into JSON format. And also you can understand more about those variables. OK. And when we are making API keys, essentially, we're calling this URL. So this URL is a, a Python API. Uh, not, not not only for Python, so where you have to give the variable name, okay? So that is a which uh, um, variable you are looking for. So in our case, we are looking for the population and also male population. For each area, so in the, in our lab, we want the, uh, the area in Virginia, and also here you need you also need to provide your case. So that is where you get this one from that website. So those are two examples. So here you can see we are looking for the 2018 ACS data. Uh, we want to have all the names for all the state. OK, so the return re result will be in a JSON format. And next, we want this variable. So I believe this is the talking about population. And also we want all the counties of the population data and also name of those counties in a state where the code equals 51. So 51 is Virginia. OK, so that's the API. OK, so here are the website that I just mentioned. So this is the website you need to request your key. So provide your organization name. So for in our case, we can just use GMU, your email, and also you have to agree with, with the term of the service. Uh, so this is the data that we are looking at. OK, so they have the we're looking at 2018 data set. And those are the variables. So as I said, this B00001 and so 001E is a total estimated population. So this can help you uh, understand what variables we are going to use. And this variable is for the male population. And if you remember this URL, so that is we get all the names the names for all the state. Uh, you can see if you look at the raw data, so it's in a list. And that is also considered in the JSON format. Uh, right now, I'm looking at this result in Firefox. So Firefox has a very nice feature that can help you to pass the JSON data. So you can see the first state, the second state. OK, and also here you can see for Virginia, uh, the state number is 51. And finally, so for this request here, you can see I'm looking for this one. That is the total population. And also name for all the counties in state that equals 51. So that is Virginia. So here we have all the counties in Virginia that the county number uh, and also the 
estimated um, population. Is that right? Oh, sorry. Uh, this is estimate population. The first one is s. Yes. Yeah, so this one. So this is estimate po population, and the second one is a name. The third one is a state number. So that's why they are all fifty-one. And also the third one, the four, uh, the last one is a county number. Okay. So that is the return result by calling this API. Uh, 